How did the global recession happen? Do you know? You don't fucking know, dude, because it didn't happen. There was no recession. There was just an admission. We admitted there was fuck all money. That's the only difference. There hasn't been money for very long. You phone your bank tomorrow, say, I want to see my money tomorrow. They will shit. They don't have your money. They have a piece of paper that says you have money in theory. And then they're banking on the fact that you only ever ask for it in small amounts so they can take someone else's money and give you that and keep the fucking thing going. Go to an ATM. Where's that option? All my money. <laughs> it's your fucking money. 100, 500, the lot! Where's that option? There's no fucking option. They're limited because they can't give you that much money at once. The whole system will collapse. Think about it. Imagine if you all went to our bank tomorrow and said, I want my money. Which money? All of it. Fucking bring it now. Now. <laughs> the bank is closed. It's gone. There isn't that much money. How much will the ATM let you take? A thousand? Maybe two if you're lucky. After that? Error. You get a home loan. You don't go to the bank and they go, oh, fuck, Mr. Vlismus, your money's ready. Your million rand for your home loan. Here are the mealy sacks. Poof. Thank you. You don't drag a million rand in banknotes to the guy selling the house and go, here's your money. Poof. You, the bank gives you a piece of paper that says you got the money in theory. The money in theory. Oh, fuck. Then you go to the guy selling the house and say, look, now you've got the money in theory. And he gives you a fucking house! <laughs>